Hi everyone, this is Sarah from Millennial Stitchers and I am coming to you straight from Nashville. So I just got home probably about a half an hour ago and I haven't even unpacked my suitcase. I came in and I got out the cross stitch and I decided I needed to film a video with you before I did anything else because I know if you're like me, you want to see these recap videos. So I wanna get mine out to you as soon as possible. Um, Laura only knows how long this will take to upload with my Wi-Fi, but we're gonna try, okay? So what we're going to be doing today is going through all 41 patterns <laughs> that we picked up at Nashville this year. So if you are new here, this is my first time going to Nashville. I went as a helping hand with my local stitchy store. So um, I have here everything that we picked up together to go through and share with all of you. So um, if you watched the lives that I posted, I did some sort of like night of videos where I went over everything, but I didn't go into like stitch count and really specific details unless there was someone watching the live that had a particular question, um, which wasn't you know, really common because it was late at night <laughs> when I was doing them. And frankly, I was also exhausted. So I thought that this video, we could go over the patterns. I could tell you what my favorite from each designer is this year. And that's just, of course, my opinion. Um, and then I thought I would give you guys a little bit of insight into what Nashville is like for those of you who haven't been. Um, so in case you're watching this video in the future, this is a recap of Nashville Needlework Market 2024. So again, this is my first time going. So new at all of it, but I feel like I've got it down pretty good now. Pretty, pretty good. Uh, so yeah, without any further ado, let's just jump right in. So when you check into Nashville, your shop is given one of these books here. And it's like really exciting, right? It's like your first thing you get to put your hands on and you're given a name tag. And in this book is of course your show schedule. So that's just going to tell you when everything is taking place. And then if you come over here, it's going to have your exhibitors in alphabetical order. So I went through after the first day and starred everybody that I didn't go to um, or needed to go back to once I realized I had forgotten stuff from them. So there's going to be two pages worth. There's about 30 exhibits on every floor and there are four floors. Um, so you go in, you check in, you get your name tag, and then you are good to go and you go and start shopping up a storm um so the first store that we went into was yarn tree and um we tore up at the yarn tree um unfortunately this year their <laughs> their credit card machine was not working immediately so um, we had to come back to pick that stuff up but in this book you're going to notice that there are floor maps and this is going to tell you where every shop is located at on each floor again there's a ton. You may also notice there is one elevator. One elevator. <laughs> so the elevators sometimes took longer than even being in the shops, which was kind of funny. Um, so I'm noticing, I noticed that when we were there, most everybody who did pre-orders picked up Friday night. Friday night was like pre-order extravaganza. <laughs> um, so I was just there like meandering around and um, we had a couple pre-orders, but not a whole, whole lot. Um, we had some that we were just picking up while we were there because we knew people wanted them. And then we were also just looking to see what we thought might sell well in the store. Uh, so that's where a lot of these designs came from is we would meet up, we would take pictures, and then we would kind of collaborate. <laughs> We'd be like, what level are you on? Level three? Okay. And we would meet up and we would talk about what to purchase or what would look good as store samples, all that type of thing. So just keep that in mind as I go through these. And if there's a fun story with any of the designers that we talk about, I'm, I'm going to tell them to you because of course. Uh, okay. So without further ado, let's start. So we picked up two patterns actually from Ardith Design this year. I only have one of them though, because you guys are familiar with the other one. So this one is Skipjack Sampler. This is her new pattern for 2024. This was um, just for Nashville, brand, brand new. And it was inspired, I spoke to her, um, from the Chesapeake Bay boats. So that's where she lives. And so these are all the little boats that go out fishing on the Chesapeake Bay. So that's what inspired her to create this design. Uh, so this is the first one that we got. This one is 154 stitches wide by 91 stitches high. And it's actually kind of cool. This is the first pattern I've seen this on, but she actually has a total stitch count and there are 5,297 stitches in this pattern. So really and truly not terrible. Not terrible. Could get this one done fairly quickly. Also, of course, love that it's hand-dyed fabric, which is really great. 
So um, that is Skipjack Sampler. Now we also did pick up Love Boats, which you guys have probably seen me stitching. So that's why I don't have it here with me because you've already seen it. But Love Boats is amazing. But because I don't have this with me, I have to vote this one my favorite because it's the only one I have with me. So, but I don't know, between this one and Love Boats would be really hard because Love Boats is amazing and I love it so much. But this is so, so cute. All right, so that is all we got from Ardith Design. We got two. So you'll notice that we try to get a variety of designers. So we don't have a ton from each designer, just a couple from each. Okay, our next one is Shakespeare's Peddler. So this was one of their new designs. It's one nickel needles. That's what it looks like. And the stitch count on this one is 90 by 127. So, so pretty. Now, I'm gonna tell you, when I stitch this pattern, I'm probably gonna stitch that house a solid red or um, a variegated red. Let's see, what does it call for? It calls for used brick. So I'm probably going used brick from Classic Color Works. I'm probably gonna stitch the whole house in used brick, obviously not the roof, but the whole house. I probably won't do the checkered pattern, but who knows, I could change my mind. But this is one nickel needle. So this is one of those patterns that when I saw it stitched in person, it's like a whole new world, right? Change my thoughts on it. Okay, and the other one that we got from uh, Shakespeare's Peddler is And Stripes. So this is a companion piece with stars from Plum Street Samplers. There are actually two patterns in this. Um, so you get the and sign and you get the barn. So I'm gonna actually flip this product over so you can see what I mean by companion piece. I'm really sorry for the reflection. I'm trying to avoid it. There we go. Um, so this is the Plum Street Samplers design, and then these are the two that come in the Shakespeare's Peddler kit here. Well, it's not a kit, but pack. There's two. Now, unfortunately, I'm just gonna tell you, I <laughs> couldn't get this one because it was gone by the time I made it up to that room. But I was able to pick these two up, so that's wonderful. Love it. So this is gonna be our first, oh, I forgot to tell you a uh, stitch count. Oh, let's see. So the and sign is 65 by 103 and stripes is 110 by 110. So I am gonna say again, I'm not gonna say it a hundred times, but I will remind you, this is all my personal opinion. I think out of these, I'm gonna go with Anne Stripes as my favorite because I was like looking for this one. This one I think is gonna be a really great seller, really super popular in my personal opinion. So, all right. Next, um, we went to Stacy Nash and we were looking at her Animal Cracker series. So this is the first one we picked up. It's Maggie May. It's just a little bunny little bunny in person. It's so super cute. So she is 55 by 116. 65 by 116. She's really cute. So cute. All right. And then also in the Animal Cracker series, we got um, Bobbin. He's a little mouse. Isn't he darling? So cute. And he is 51 by 52. So he's a little tiny guy. I think when you stitch this, you like definitely need to finish it with thread coming out. That's just the cutest thing ever. Um, okay, I love both of these patterns, but I am, I think I have to be partial to Bobbin, obviously, because if you know me, you know that I have had pet rats before and love them. So I think I'm gonna have to go with this one just, to, just because. <laughs> All right, okay. Oh, the next one's gonna be really hard. Our next trip was to Heartstring Samplery. So uh, the first one we got here was Home is Where Your Honey Is. So there's actually three of these. There's Home is Where Your Honey Is, um, there's one for cats and one for dogs. Um, I thought this one would be most like broad for people since not everybody has cats and not everybody has dogs, but a lot of people have honeys. <laughs> so home is where your honey is. And also bees are a pretty popular theme. So we thought this would be most popular for more people. Um, I also think it's just darling, just darling. So home is where your honey is. Stitch count on this one is 127 by 136. All right. Now the one that I went in there for was Scenic Sampler. Have you guys seen this? 
Yeah. Yeah. It's amazing. Amazing. Look at that weeping willow tree. Look at it. Oh my gosh. And the little cottage. <gasps> it's beautiful. It's so, so beautiful. This one's a little bit bigger. It's 247 by 215. And that's Scenic Sampler by Heartstring Samplery. And this one's going to be my favorite of the two, even though I love them both. This one's like, I have to start immediately. All right. Okay, so next um, it was one of the many, many times I went into hands-on design because hands-on design, um, me and my counterpart that was with me decided we're going to do a class at the store using hands-on design. So I'm going to explain the patterns we got and then we'll talk about the class. So the first one that we got was Botanical Bee, which I'm sure you were going to see a lot of. Very, very popular this year. Um, Miss Botanical Bee, she is gorgeous and she is 67 by 65. So she's a tiny stitch. Really, really exciting um, to find some smalls that I can do uh, and feel accomplished by doing. <laughs> so she is so, so cute. Um, and then we also picked up Gather Wildflowers and these are, this is the Spring Gather Rounds collection. So I'm gonna get up close so you can see each of the patterns. So this is like a quilty based one, which you know I'm partial to, love, love, love. Gathering wildflowers and a little house. So cute, very, very, very cute. So we are going to be doing a class on this here. So we're gonna have people pre-stitch. So um, we have some more coming, but we have lots of options for people to pick from for their round. They're gonna pre-stitch and then come in and we've got paddles and we are going to stain them and then we're going to learn how to, um, oh gosh, I can't even think of the word. It's been a very long weekend. We are going to learn how to finish is what we're going to be doing. So really, really, really exciting. I'm going to say out of these two, I'm gonna go with Botanical Bee, but I really love this one here. I'll probably stitch them both. Um, I mean, I have to have class examples, right? That makes sense, right? <laughs> um, but let's go with Botanical Bee for purposes that you will learn later. Okay, next we went to, oh my gosh, I didn't tell you the stitch count on these yell at me next time people it's 53 by 52 53 by 52 so that means botanical bee is a smidge bigger so these are 53 by 52 these are 67 by 65 a little bit bigger keep that in mind okay all right our next place we went was the artsy housewife. So the first one that I picked up was a study in nature. Now I'm going to be honest with you. I have never seen this pattern until I went there and saw it stitched. So this is a new one for me, but I'm going to get it nice and close for you. Look at the detail in this butterfly. You know, it's kind of one of those things where it caught me immediately. And I started to think about the Phoenix fabric that we have in millennial fabrics. Um, that's probably what I'm going to use to stitch this on. Um, this is 181 by 143. I do believe I'm going to stitch this as a shop sample um, for the local stitchy shop because it's beautiful and different, which I love. Uh, okay, the other one that we got from the Artsy Housewife, yes, um, is Avalonia's Apple Tree, which I'm sure you guys have seen this one. This one's been pretty, pretty darn popular. I've seen it all about. <laughs> all over the place. So this one is 170 by 174, so almost perfectly square. And it's got a cutie little fox on it. Look at that. Again, this is unique. I really like the Artsy Housewife. They do a lot of unique stuff and they were really, really nice. The samples of these were A1, um, A1. So out of these two, I think I'm going to go with a study in nature just because the fabric Oh, it's amazing. So amazing. Um, I love it, love it, love it. Let's see, I'm trying to see. So this is just red by Weeks Dye Works, the fabric. So I'm definitely going to stitch it on Phoenix from Millennial Fabrics, which is us, of course. <laughs> Uh, all right, so the next place we went was Silver Creek Samplers. Oh my goodness. So if you guys haven't seen their pattern line for market, you need to go look. After this video, don't stop now, but after this video, you need to go check it out because everything that they 
put out was amazing. I got a picture with her, so you can check out my Instagram so you can see that picture. Um, but we've got three, and I don't know which one I'm gonna pick. I'm having a hard time. Um, so the first one is Day of Jubilee. Now, if you know me, you know I'm not much of a patriotic stitcher myself, but I had to have this. This is amazing. Um, I also think this is gonna be really popular in the shop. So this is such a glory in all I see now that I can say I'm free. Isn't that so sweet? Oh, it's so, so pretty. And it has a church in it, which is even better because you know how much I love stitching houses. So that's great. So, so great. I really love this pattern. Um, and stitch count on this guy, let's see. Oh, is 119 by 102. 119 by 102. So the nice thing is all of these I'm telling you about are fairly doable, right? Like I haven't given you anything super, super crazy yet. <laughs> um, our next one is Wings of Change. So this says, the butterfly is proof that you and darkness can be transformed too. So you go from cater caterpillar to butterfly. I just think that's a really, really nice saying. Really cute. This one's 112 by 135. Now, when I was in visiting with Silver Creek Samplers, she told me this was by far her most popular pattern and it is Rainbow Crossing. It says, the time has come, I can't deny, to let your gentle spirit fly. We'll meet again, it's not the end. Wait by the bridge for me, old friend. So if you guys have animals, you know, you know, you know. Um, this is the Rainbow Bridge. There's not very many patterns for Rainbow Bridge because I've looked for them before. Um, I know that there's a beautiful heaven and earth, but that's a heaven and earth. So <laughs> this is 139 by 117. So a little bit more doable if you're looking for something kind of smaller. And I just love the sentiment. Love it. I'm definitely going to stitch this one myself. Um, we have like a section of our house where we have stuff for animals that have passed and that'll be going there. Um, so I think right now I'm between Day of Jubilee and Rainbow Crossing, but I just, I think I'm going to go with Rainbow Crossing. Uh, it's, it's close though, but this one speaks to my heart. Um, okay, so moving on. We are now jumping over to Tiny Modernist. She was so lovely. I got a photo with her too. That's also on my Instagram. I was I was taking a lot of pictures um, and fangirling a little bit. Uh, okay, so we got two patterns here from uh, Tiny Modernist. The first one that we got is Spring Chicken. Oh my gosh. Okay, so let me keep it honest with you, okay? I'm not like a chicken person. I know a lot of people are chicken people. I did not go into Nashville thinking that this was gonna be something that the shop needed. This is something that the shop needed. I saw the sample and I was like, let's get it right now. Like this moment, we need this right now. Um, it's so, 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 so cute. It's an easy stitch for new stitchers. I love it. So this is gonna be a shop sample that we're gonna stitch. How cute is this little fella? Um, let me open my pattern up down here and tell you it's 66 by 66. And if you don't want to do the border, it's 60 by 60. I think the shop sample we do will have a border because I think the border's cute. All right, we also had Follow Your Heart. This is kind of a different pattern. I don't see a lot of typewriter type stuff and I love flowers. So um, this is 67 by 125. 67 by 125. So cute. Um, I love it. I love it so much. Um, let's see if there's anything. I like that this has a purple theme. I feel like we don't see purple a whole, whole lot in cross stitch patterns, so very cute. I think people will be a big fan of this one. I think I'm going to go with the chicken as my favorite from this designer, just because it sold me. Like, I think he's really cute now. Now I can't get enough of him, and like, look at the little mushroom. So cute, so cute. All right. Deep breath, I'm gonna take a drink of water real quick. <laughs> we still have a lot to get through. Shoo. Okay, here we go. Next, we went to Hello by Hello from Liz Matthews, picked up three patterns here. Now, I'm gonna tell you, it was tempting to not get more, okay? Her stuff's gorgeous, she's so, so sweet. Um, but here we go. So the first one I picked up was Forget Me Not. So this is a really, really classic pattern. Um, love the border on this. Look at that border. 
so cute. I think this is going to be very versatile. I think people are going to really, really enjoy these. So um, I think this will be really popular. So what we are actually going to be doing is we have our cross stitch like monthly meeting on Thursday. So what we're going to do is have all of the Nashville stuff ready to go on Thursday. And that way we can present to um, kind of all the stitchy friends that we have uh, at the shop. So um, this one is 153 by 205. So cute. I love this pattern. All right. Next we have Spring House. And this is um, really similar to the um, pumpkin one that we had before. I don't remember the name of that one off the top of my head, but it's got the two different fabrics and then you sew them together. You can see right there, they're sewn together, two separate. Isn't that so cool? I just think that's such a unique idea. This one's 131 by 156. So cute. And there's a cat up here in the window if you can't see. So a little partial to that too. Okay, now the last one that we got from Liz Matthews, I'm gonna tell you. So I had seen this stitched in um, Bridgen, the museum stitchers video and the background of her video. Um, I saw this and fell in love with it. So when I saw it, I was like, the shop has got to have this right here. So this is Butterfly Cloche and it is amazing. <laughs> it's so, so, so pretty. It is 171 by 191. And I just simply love it. I simply love it. Um, I've been eyeballing this for a really long time. So when she had it and had it stitched, it, the game, it was game over. It was game over. So, so pretty. Um, I think this will be really popular at shop. Um, so I think I'm going to go with this one as my favorite from Liz Matthews, even though I love all three of them. Um, this one is just because I've been, this has been a favorite of mine for a long time. So we're going to go with that one. Okay. Are we ready to keep going? All right, so there is a funny story with the next designer. So the next designer is Fox and Rabbit. And if you know, they are from Australia. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. They are from Australia. So think about what that might mean for people buying stuff. <laughs> so they came down, they posted on, cra on um, Instagram that it was their first time going to Cracker Barrel. <laughs> so that's fun. Um, if you live in the United States, you've probably been to Cracker Barrel. So that's kind of just funny to us who live in the States, but... Um, the first pattern I got from them is where there are bees, there are flowers. This was their Nashville exclusive. Here we are. Um, let's see, this is 235 by 238. So a little bigger than we've been looking at, a little bit bigger, more sampler size. Okay. Where there are bees, there are flowers, Nashville exclusive. And then we have, they come at night and this is beautiful moths. Oh my gosh, I love this pattern. It's just different. So this one is 185 by 185. Really pretty. So let me tell you a little bit about what happened with Fox and Rabbit. <laughs> so I bought the patterns, right? <laughs> and everything was okay until I got a fraud alert on the credit card. <laughs> They thought someone in Australia had stolen my card. Yes, <laughs> it went through an Australian vendor. So, whoopsies. Um, okay, out of these two patterns, I am going to go with They Come at Night because it's different and I'm just a sucker for these moths. They're so pretty. So, so pretty. All right. Okay, next we have Heart and Hand. All right, so we've got three things from Heart and Hand. Very exciting stuff going on right here. So if you've been watching my videos, you may know what my favorite one is. So tell me what you think it is. I mean, I'm gonna tell you here in just a second, but the first thing is the 2024 Collector's Heart by Heart and Hand. So this is gonna be like their little, to me it's Valentine Day, Valentine's Day, but it's so pretty, so, so pretty. Um, let's see, I don't, it's, this is like a little kit. So on the back, it's got your, um, button and fabric inside. I'm looking for a stitch count. Let me open it up and see if I can find a stitch count in here real quick for you. I'm not seeing a stitch count. However, it does say that the frame is a six by six. Let me actually just take it out of the bag and I'll look and see, because I know stitch counts are pretty important 
to some folks. So um, it comes with 32 count platinum Belfast linen. You guys know I love platinum. So I'm loving that choice. Okay, it is 80 by 77. 80 by 77. So very, very cute. Now, of course, if you didn't want to stitch it on this, you could pick something else to stitch it on. So keep an eye out because your shop probably, I'm assuming, picked these up. It was pretty, pretty popular um, at market and it comes with a full kit, which is pretty nice. All you have to get is your thread. It comes with your fabric and your button. I'm also going to just toss this in here too, okay? If you are not a linen person, please remember this can be stitched on Ada. However, it comes with the linen and this might be a really good opportunity to try on something small like this. And if you need help, you can always reach out to me and I'm happy to help you with that. So this is the 2024 Collector's Heart. All right. So the next pattern that we got from Heart and Hand was floral etchings. So these are those gorgeous flowers that came out. Um, and I'm gonna have to open this one up so I can tell you the stitch count on this one. So gorgeous. Let's see, it's 121 by 65. 121 by 65. I just love it framed like that. That frame is really pretty with this. All right, that's floral etchings. And we also picked up floral etchings too. <laughs> um, so they're kind of companion pieces you can see here. They look really nice together. They would look really pretty like framed next to each other. Um, this is also 120, oh, this is 121 by 65. So three stitch different. Um, but I think I would probably frame them maybe like this in some capacity. <laughs> maybe they're very cute. Um, I am gonna go with the 2024 Collector's Heart as my favorite just because I thought my ship had sailed on this one and it it's, you know, we were able to pick some up for shop. So I'm definitely going to be getting this one because I need it. So that's going to be my favorite. Okay, next is actually gonna be the first shop that we went into. And this one has been somebody that I have been so excited to meet forever because her designs were one of the first that I ever had um, when I was learning to cross stitch. So not my very first design, my very first design was a kit, of course, like most of you. Um, but she, like I've done a lot of her little mini cities and I did a big pool of hers. Like I love this designer um, and that is Satsuma Street, Jody Rice. So she was there and I fangirled, um, but I got one of her really popular designs. This sucker sold out on Friday night. This is funky chickens. Okay, now these chickens are hilarious, okay? So first of all, they're adorable, right? Like they're so cute. And she told me that she's got really good finishing instructions in here. So I'm gonna actually just pop this open really quick and take a peek at the finishing instructions because I want to make sure I'm giving you accurate information <laughs> that the finishing instructions seem simple. She said, if you can backstitch, you can do this. Okay, so she does, okay. So she doesn't need, she even has where you can cut out the felt pieces. So she's got things that you can trace, which is really helpful. You can use tracing papers for that. Um, and she does have like even diagrams, wow. Wow, this se does seem very, very, very doable. Like maybe even I could do it. <laughs> um, these guys are just so cute. Oh my gosh. So I'm going to read to you what they say on the bottom of the chickens because that's, that's hilarious. Like, so they're up here and then this is the bottom. So there's three different sayings. Okay, I'm going to read them to you. Guess what, chicken butt? What the cluck? Oh, for cluck's sake. Is that not hilarious? I think that's so funny. So funny. So funky chickens, funky chickens, okay? So fun. I'm gonna put this back in its package here. Love, 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 love that. Okay, next from Satsuma Street, we had the four elements. So this at one point was a stitch along that she did um, and she released them element by element, but now she has the full pattern released and this is it. So this is the four elements. It's 174 by 177 and it is breathtaking when it is stitched. Um, she had both 
this and Funky Chickens on display. Um, I don't know if I told you, Funky Chickens is 120 by 60 is the rooster, excuse me, and the hens are 100 by 50. <laughs> Sorry, I should have specified. <laughs> um, this is a really, really hard pick. I think I'm gonna go with the four elements just because I think it um, will appeal maybe to more people. And I love it. All right. Next one's going to be an easy choice because I only picked up one thing. Um, and that is going to be uh, the amazing folks at Autumn Lane. So we picked up Winter Friends from them. Isn't he just darling? Like, hello. He looks like he's in a stained glass window. Ah, so, so pretty. The sample of this was gorgeous. Gorgeous. So the store, we have a ton more Autumn Lanes. Um, so this was just the newest one that we wanted to grab. And this is um, 111 by 240. He's just so pretty. Speaks for himself. So this is my favorite from Autumn Lane. <laughs> All right. Next is going to be Plum Street, which you know is one of my favorite designers. So we definitely picked up numerous patterns from Plum Street um, and would have picked up stars if it hadn't been available. Um, so... All right, um, I also got to meet Miss Paulette Stewart, and that was amazing. I got a photo with her. She was great. She had her whole family there helping. Um, the first one that we got was My Early Days, and this um, was actually a 2019 release. This isn't a new release. It's just we picked it up, <laughs> uh, and it was 215 by 213, My Early Days. I'll get a close-up so you can see. Just love everything she does. All right, then we have American Welcome. American Welcome. And this one is 173 by 146. I forgot to tell you the stitch count on the other. I'll pull that back up in a minute. I love that top border. And this house right here is everything. <laughs> All right, my early days, the stitch count. Oh, I did tell you, it was 215, 213. Yeah. Okay, and the last one that we picked up was Plum Street um, Flag Thief. This one was really popular this year. Flag Thief, this is brand spanking new. Brand new. So I think, so my favorite that she did was Stars, but we, I don't have it, so I'm not gonna take that as my favorite. I'm going to say American Welcome is gonna be my favorite right now of what we picked up from her. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, now next you're gonna, like this is gonna hurt my soul because it's my current favorite designer. And if you know, you know, it's Miss Teresa Kogut. So we picked up many, many items from Teresa Kogut. Um, these are all from Teresa, okay. So the first thing that we picked up was wherever there are Birds. Oh, look at him. Look at him. Look at him. I actually, okay, if you watched my last video, you know that I was making fun of myself because it was a raven, not a crow. I think this is actually a crow. So maybe I need to make a video that says this is a crow. I don't know. Isn't he just like the cutest thing ever? Uh, he is 170 over 152. 170 over 152, and I love him. It's so cute. I need, I need him. Um, the next thing I need to have is Hello Spring. Now, if you saw this book, it's incredible. I'm actually gonna flip through this book so you can see the different patterns in the book. Um, I'm just gonna do it down here so you can't see, obviously, the charts. I'm gonna fold the book for you. Okay, the first one is Cottage Bouquet. That's on the cover. Love this. If that pattern doesn't sell you enough, I mean, that pattern is gorgeous. Next one inside this book is Cottage House. She's got one of these weeping willows here. Really cute with these little blue, jay blue jays. Next we have Home Sweet Home. Got that bee theme going on with this one. All right, Buzzing of the Day. So this one says, the buzzing of the day assures a restful night. 
I love this. I love her adding this black down here. Really pretty. Next, we have Strawberry Delight. How cute is that? Ah, I really like this one. Strawberry Delight. Next one is probably my second favorite in the whole book. This is Cherry Jubilee. Isn't that cute? Like, that's adorable. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Two more in the book. This is Stitcher's Strawberries. And last but not least in this book is Sweet Wren. Right there. So this book is going to retail for $30. And I think it's well worth it for these eight designs. So that is Hello Spring. All right, the next one from Teresa Kogut is And God Saw. I personally love this pattern so much. Um, it's wonderful, wonderful. I'm gonna open it up so I can get a stitch count for you. This is And God Saw. You know what? Uh, <laughs> I think I think they forgot to put a page in Teresa's book. Either that or mine fell out. <laughs> because there is no stitch count, nor is there um, a color chart on here. So I will um, have to message her and I will get back to you on that because it's just the pattern. I probably should have checked that when I bought numerous of these. Um, so it's amazing pattern though, but it just is missing kind of a key part to it. <laughs> so I'll reach out to her and ask her about that. Um, I will set that aside so I can remember to do that. Um, okay, also picked up Seaworthy. Seaworthy. So this is a book of three cross stitch charts. So it's got this main one here. And then it's got these two little fellas down here. So cute. Um, all right, let's see. I'm gonna get you some information here. I'm gonna flip this. Now I'm gonna check these just to make sure before I reach out that uh, the rest are good to go. Seaworthy Sampler. So this one is 200 by 113. That's the big one. Then under the C is the smaller. And that one is 110 by 110. And then the real teeny tiny fella is, if I can turn this page, Mermaid. And that is 39 by 56. 39 by 56. Last one from Teresa is Serenity. Serenity. So this has been a really popular pattern. It's big, big though. Really, 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 really big. Um, so this one is, let's see, 338 by 340. So this one's really big. Um, and it does have the, the, obviously the color code and everything in here. Um, I have to really check that other one. Kind of got me a little worried, but this is Serenity. Um, so we've got Serenity, Seaworthy, and God Saw, Hello Spring, and Wherever There Are Birds. So I think I'm between Hello Spring and um, Wherever There Are Birds. I'm going to go Hello Spring just because it's got multiple patterns in there I like, and I'm a cheater like that. <laughs> All right. Just two more designers to get through. Okay, so the next we have Jeanette Douglas Designs. Um, so this one is Needle Be True Sampler and Small. So it comes with this sampler here. And then also comes with these smalls here. Very, very, very pretty. The main design is 163 by 195. So this is one of those ones that I had a sample and I fell in love 
with it and love with it. Um, and then this one was on our initial list to get, and uh, it's also beautiful. This is Heart and Home. Heart and Home, so there's their houses, <laughs> obviously, and they are 140 by 140. So, so pretty. I'm gonna go with this one as my favorite, um, just because of the houses, and I don't know. I just really like its vibe. It's very, very, very cute. Okay. And the very last designer is something that we carry numerous of in the shop, but we usually only keep one at a time because they're kind of specific, as you're going to tell. Um, so that is Rosewood Manor. So we got Flowers of Quaker. So this is their new design. We also got the thread pack to go with this, which is right here. <laughs> And I'm going to do a shop sample of this one. And these are very, very big designs. Just be aware of that. Um, so let me get you a stitch count on this. 288 by 157. So these are really intense designs, these guys are. Um, but they're beautiful. But I gotta say, honestly, their pictures do them no justice. Seeing them in person was like a surreal experience. Um, we also got Bramley Garden. This is really pretty in person too. Bramley Garden, and this one, let me open it back here. Looking for stitch count for you. This one is 237 by 238. 237 by 238. Okay, then we have this and that. This is the one's really cute. You can do it uh, with different shades of any color that you choose to, really cute. And this one is a smaller one. This is 106 by 147. And the last one we picked up was Dreaming of Tulips. So we have a couple of the other Dreamings of, um, but we don't have tulips. And now we do. So this is Dreaming of Tulips. So I am going to say that the new release, Flowers of Quaker, is my favorite um, that we picked up. So that is all 41 patterns that we got at market this year. Um, really, really, really exciting. So just as a recap, here's my favorite, um, my personal favorite from each designer this year. And Stripes by Shakespeare's Peddler. Bobbin from the Animal Cracker series of Stacy Nash. The Scenic Sampler from Heartstring Samplery. <laughs> Botanical Bee from Hands On Design. A Study in Nature by The Artsy Housewife. Rainbow Crossing from Silver Creek Samplers. Spring Chicken by Tiny Modernist. Butterfly Cloche from Hello by Liz Matthews. They Come at Night from Fox and Rabbit. 2024 Collector's Heart from Heart and Hand. The Four Elements from Satsuma Street. Winter Friends from Autumn Lane. American Welcome from Plum Street Samplers. Hello Spring from Teresa Kogut. Um, Heart and Home from Jeanette Douglas. And finally, Flowers of Quaker from Rosewood Manor. So um, I have selected my favorite pattern of um, well, my favorite two. I have two, so I need your all's opinion based on these two of market this year. And um, take a second to guess what you think they are. What do you think my two top two favorite patterns are? I'm gonna give you just a second to answer it. Do you know what it is? Do you know what it is? One of them is a heartstring sampler, scenic sampler. I just love it. it I just need this in my home, like now. <laughs> Um, and then the other is Flowers of Quaker uh, is another favorite that I'm really looking forward to stitching. So I'm excited to stitch this to hang as a display. Um, 
and share with others. So these are my top two favorite market releases of the year. I would love, love, love to hear what your favorite market releases of the year are. There are so many amazing patterns. It's so hard to pick. Um, but I know that there's one that has caught your eye more than anything. So I'd love to know what that is. Please put that down below in the comments. And as always, like this video and subscribe. I do this so that you guys can see what is going on in my stitching world. It also motivates me a ton. Um, but that is gonna be a wrap for the 2024 Nashville Needlework Market. Um, so, so thankful that I was able to attend that and I just can't wait till next year. So with that being said, we will be back in a few weeks with a regular cross stitch. Um, we have lots of updates to give you. So um, yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and we'll talk soon. Bye guys.